Hey, welcome back to another episode from Life on Living Well. My name is Richard. Before I dive into the podcast for this week, I'd like to say if you'd like to know one or two things about this community, Life on Living Well, you can check it out on our website at www.lifeonlivingwell.com. Once again, my name is Richard. So, let's dive into the topic for this week. What did I bring for this week episode? It's what I call the art of giving. As we normally do, we normally find one individual with inspirational quotes and they will build the context of the podcast around that line. So, this week, I'm taking from Maya Angelou and I'll how does she paraphrase out of giving? She said, I find that among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul of the giver. It's contrary to what you already believe about giving. And it's not just the art of giving someone, you actually helping yourself more. So let's dive to it. Aristotle once said, You become what you do. It is not an art, but a habit. The secret to having more is to give consciously. Have you ever considered, have you ever imagined, or put yourself in the shoe of a farmer that I have a tiny seed? and plug this seed into the ground and after a few months this seed turned to multiple return of the output of the seed if this farmer never put anything on the ground he will never be in the position where he harvested so many fruits of this labor the same thing with the giving you might thought that you find a way of giving it in one way, but you actually liberating yourself in another way. So, to become a giver is an open door to many other benefits. And you will see why is that as you follow me through these podcasts. Just looking around you. And you can see the abundance of the universe in its own nature. Could we consider the air that we breathe? The daylight that we often enmesh with our daily activities. How many of you need a light when we walk in the daylight? No, how many of you have to carry extra light to see? We give it to you in abundance. When it rains, it doesn't just rain because you're a good person or is or she is a bad person. It just rains. Often, many who are fixated on lacking and they are afraid that others will export them. If we are fully aware of the abundance that is available to us, such as the length of the ocean. Fish never worry that they didn't have enough space to swim. They never worry. It's only human feet trapped When someone is better than you in one team or successful in one area than you, it is easy to feel paranoid of fear or envy or automatically competing with this person. When you begin to practice out of giving, you're no longer competing directly with that individual because you're coming from a place of abundance. You begin to compete with yourself, which is much powerful than competing with others. Because you have no idea the destination of their race. You are raising together, not necessarily that you will arrive to the same end. So 
So we will never be motivated by fear of lack again when we begin to practice the art of giving. So the question I throw to you, do you say you are a giver of hope, joy, happiness, and serenity in your own relationships to yourself and others? Or you are the one that takes it from others? So the catch here, you cannot give what you do not have. But most of these things require a conscious practice. For example, if you are a practitioner of compassion and gratitude as part of your daily routine, what happens then? You will begin to see many benefits of this practice and after some time, it becomes a habit that transcends to all your human relationships. It takes courage to love a difficult person. But when you become a giver, you trigger more compassion within yourself. You focus more on what you need, not what you what you want, not what you need. You begin to just use things because based on use it for the purpose of what you need it for, not wasting it. We have so many waste around us. And stay with the complaining that we don't have enough. Someone that genuinely a giver are people that are coming from the place of abundance. Because you cannot give what you don't have. But if you have a sense and feelings that you have more than enough, you can avoid to give two, three, five, six, ten percent of your honey way to a good cause or someone that really need it urgently than you do so how do we know this you cannot give what you do not have knowing you are surrounded with abundance it is easy to let go of some of your resources without worry as you saw it also come back to you in ten folks there's a passage in the scripture that said that there are people that they always keep to themselves or they, or they always complain that they don't have. And there's someone that give out. And they always have abundance. Giving out is not in a way of wasting it. Your form of giving out could be educating yourself. Invest in your own development. Invest in others' development. You have no idea how this turn back or come back to you in one fold. To acquire a giving habit, if it is something that you would like to do, then begin with the baby step and with yourself. That's the only thing I can tell you. you if you listen to me today, and you think giving is not the habit that you've developed over the years, and you like to start doing that, I suggest consider start with a baby step. What is a baby step? Start with the basic for yourself. Be a giver to yourself first. It could be you need the honest to confront whatever emotion you're going through. Be open and honest about it. There's no greater virtue than be honest to yourself. If you are waiting until you have a lot of resources for it, then it's becoming difficult to develop the habits. I hear people say, oh, until I have this, I will start doing this. What happens if they are not lived to become that? But they have the ability to smile to somebody today. That's a giving. Consider choosing one area where you can become a giver. The good thing about developing a new habit is that it automatically transcends to other parts of 
our life in a big way. So you notice that once you start doing one particular good habit well, you focus on that alone, but with time, this particular habit will transcend to other parts of your life. So how you treat someone is how you treat everybody. There's no thing that, oh, I didn't like him because it's like that. Your behavior shows that one day, if you don't like me, it will be the same. So, as we're bringing this toward the end, just remember, if you want genuine and authentic love, kindness, wet, rich friends, I suggest become a giver. Giver of love, giver of compassion, giver of good ethics, giver of your money, giver of your food. Become a giver. Apart from this stated benefit, there are other areas this art will help you. In the area of emotion, psychological, physical, and more socially, it reduce stress. Lastly, the whole wide world is built on giving. Just walk in the nature, you will understand this perfectly well. And we are part of the universe. We are not separated from it. It wasn't designed for consuming. Giving allows you to create rather than always consume. We live in a consuming environment. It's always what you can buy, what you can buy, what you can buy. You spend the day, the time you wake up and the time you sleep. If you pay attention well, you are consuming. You eating, you listen, you watching. Society train you to consume, but the higher call for any human being is to create. You are you are a creator. To raise your vibration high to this level, learn or start giving. Today, climate change has reminded us of the imminent responsibility upon all of us to give back within our own power being creative and look after your environment but we live in a time when we lie to ourselves to just consume no wonder we have so many illnesses so my friend I challenge you today to become a giver if you are not one yet I hope this podcast helps someone if you'd like to know more about this podcast, there's also an article that written for this particular podcast. You can find it on our website at www.lifeforlivingwise.com. Until we meet again next week, whatever you do, enjoy it and stay safe. Ciao.